Hey, welcome back to the morning update. So we've got Black Friday. I can't believe it. Just three days away from now. Right. Uh, and if you have a reader on your shopping list, we have a great local bookstore you got to check out. Yeah, joining us live now from Birch Bark Books in Minneapolis is Pallas Erdig. Pallas, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Why don't we just start with uh, tell us about Birch Bark? Okay. Well, Birch Bark Books is owned by my mother, uh, Louise Erdrich, who is a local author, but also mm -hmm. kind of a Kind of a, no, I'm just a local author, but just put it, put it, put it, it is a big there. deal. Okay, it I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm she, a little, she did win the Pulitzer, yeah. so I'm just. I'm, she, I'm a little fangirling right now. I just started the sentence, and it's well, then you have to come cool. in because people, I know. the sentence is set in the bookstore, I know. and uh, <laughs> people often come in and they ask because it is about it, right. the bookstore being haunted. And yes, they ask, is it true? Is it true that it's haunted? <laughs> My friends, it is true. It yes. is true. Indeed, it is. Oh yeah, but you know, not in a spooky way. Just that you know, we have little interesting occurrences and whatnot. And we're like, ah, Flora, there right. you are again. So <laughs> tell us about the history of the bookstore. Okay. Well, when um, I was 16, my mom, we lived next to a dentist office that we never ever saw anybody go in. And we were curious, like, what else could that space be? And she had a vision for it. Mm -hmm. And we, like blood, sweat, and tears, put our time and efforts into it and made it into what you see today, which is uh, we have reclaimed wood that makes a beautiful loft for children and a reclaimed uh, confessional, which is in the mm -hmm. sentence as well. Um, and just every book that's in there is curated with love from all of our booksellers. Everybody is, you know, we're native focused and native owned. Mm -hmm. And so we have a selection of books that you won't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, but also we just love to read. So, yeah. right. you know, you come in, there's lots of staff recommendations. Everybody on staff like is just really invested in their own particular kind of books. Right. So, yeah. so uh, native focused. Yes. Uh, so one of the books that we had actually on our show right. just a little bit ago, yeah. Braiding Sweetgrass for Young Adults, uh, it's these kind. It's these different kinds of books. So you have kids' books, adults' books. Why I don't do. we start here yeah, with the kids? Yeah, let's talk about with kids' books. So with kids' books, this is for young adults. It's an adapted uh, version of Braiding Sweetgrass, which is phenomenally still on the bestsellers list. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, no, no. But this is accessible for younger people. It still goes through the same um, kind of uh, spiritual and philosophical right. scientific um, content. And she's also written a selection of other books. Uh, sorry, not Robin Kimmer, but... Uh, Monique Grace Smith, who you had right. on, uh, and this is one of the ones that we've just really loved to sell, especially around Thanksgiving, the holidays. It's right. a great gift for kids. Um, beautiful illustrations with a really great message. Ooh. Awesome. When yeah. we are kind, is it's this just, one is called? Yeah, I love I it. Wonder, yeah. Oh, it's I really love charming. That and there's a, there's many other native books that we have. Um, about gratitude, about you know cultural life, living here, and many that are in other languages, uh, Lakota or Ojibwe oh, as well. Oh, great! And so we're seeing, we're looking at video right now of the bookstore here. Right. Yes. So those are the little staff recommendations that you see. All the little adult cards. placards there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have adult books too. What are I'll you just, recommending? Are oh, you want to go this way first? Real okay. quick, I'm just going to talk about this kid's book, which is my personal recommendation favorite. Um, it's called Counting Creatures, mm -hmm. and I just want to point out that every single page is different. Oh my god. And every single one has as a um, creature that, okay, wait, um, is hiding oh, wow. their, their babies. Oh and this is it's beautiful. Like, the illustrations just, are beautiful. And it's a $20 book, which wow. I have to say, for like, you know, the, this the level of art, it? you just can't find value. Wow. And, and okay. also, there's a twist at the end. Oh, I'm doing which, that book. Yeah. I'm, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> At the end, you find out that there's baby spiders, but you have to go back to every page and find ah, all the spiders. Oh. I know. So kids my just love this love one. It's book. a great, great book. Okay, so I can talk about my book recommendations and then some of this art. Great, that's sounds on the good. Table. Let's get into the book recs. All right, so this is the Whalebone Theater, one that mm -hmm. I was very lucky to read uh, in an advanced reader copy, which is a perk of right. working mm -hmm. at a sports store. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and uh, the reason I chose these two is because, like I said, everybody at the store has a personal favorite that they like. And so I'm just going to say these are the two that I've really enjoyed, mm -hmm. particularly because I think these two main characters would be great friends. So this one is set in the 1920s through the 40s, through World War II. Star uh, Christabel is the main character, mm -hmm. and she's what I would call a whiz whimsical pragmatist. Mm -hmm. And she is a theater director and has a passion for, you know, great story. But she also... Um, has to fight the Nazis. So, sure. you know, you start out in a very like bucolic, like sort of Downton Abbey setting and then go into It uh, takes a turn, yeah. It takes a turn. So, okay. yeah. really recommend and this one. And what's the other one? This one is called Perma Red. And another character who, I mean, she is just like a, a hard bitten charmer, I would say. <laughs> 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 when it's I was the reading snake? Them, is that yeah. a... Uh, sorry? Hence the snake. Hence the snake, the snake. yes. <laughs> and it's, um, 
more it's a more contemporary book it's set on a reservation and it's about her uh, being pursued by two men and having to make the choice between what kind of life she wants to lead okay. her family all wants her to do one thing and she's not sure what she wants to do there's a lot of uh, difficult moments in this book but I felt that it was just marvelously uh, written and has yeah, a great, a great ending. So, yeah. so you know, one of the things I I that's so important when we're thinking about shopping now is to shop local. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have these wonderful gifts that you can give as people. I mean, jewelry cards. Yes. Okay. So we do sell native jewelry that is made in the traditional way, and that I have here is I have uh, a barrette and this pair of earrings by um, an Ojibwe artist, Emma Geyer, who mm -hmm. she works with. Um, traditional styles and traditional beading and you really can't find work like that anywhere else yeah. you, know, you could look high and low but this is something that was has been done the same way for many years and this is like porcupine quills so we can hold it up wow. sorry yes oh, that, oh, shoot, you said sorry. those are porcupine those are porcupine, those are porcupine quills. quills yeah so she finds them she soaks them she knows how to work with them and it's a right. And then these, which I'm wearing a pair of this oh, artist okay. as well. This yeah. is an artist collective in uh, Sisseton, the Sisseton Wapiton. Oh, great. The artist collective. And they do wonderful work, and every pair is different. Um, it's sort of the artist whim and whimsy. So mm -hmm. if you see a pair you like, like it doesn't mean that we'll have it necessarily, right. but we'll have something similar. Cool. That's all. Okay, so we have cards, we have books. We I have, have yeah. these cards are Carly Bardot, okay. a beautiful Ojibwe artist. Yep. We have these little birch bark ornaments. Oh, great. Oh, wow, and, like, that's great. This is a $6 ornament. Yeah. This Great. is 18 bucks. You know, these are just things that you can afford. And, are very and tell us, gift. where can you find Birch Bark? Birch Bark is uh, 2115 uh, Penn Avenue South. So it's in the Kenwood neighborhood, mm -hmm. and it's tucked right across from the Kenwood local school. Okay, right there, great. The elementary yeah, school. over by the Kenwood I, restaurant. People I gotta people. say, I'm, I'm disappointed we have to wrap up this segment because I feel like we could go on. Oh, I know. <laughs> right. I know. Well, so that means on. you gotta go visit Birch Bark. We gotta it's go true. visit Birch Bark. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm going over there. Yeah. I'm going to pick up that book. I may, <laughs> I may do that today. All right, Palace, thank you. Thank, thank you. for being with us it today. It was such a pleasure to talk to you. Mm -hmm. We Thanks. appreciate it. Thank you.